unfortunate, but um, you know, we don't communicate too much. The two no longer communicate, as his daughter Koi Larry recently disclosed, and Benzino has verified this. The former co-owner of Source says he finds it hard to believe this has actually happened. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. The whole thing is surreal to me. Like, I'm a smart guy, but I necessarily can't figure this one out. The former love and hip-hop, Atlanta star stated in a recent interview with the We in Miami podcast that he was attempting to honor his daughter's wishes by not speaking with her. The interview was published on Thursday, May 9th. Koi is a young lady, she independent. This young generation, they don't want their parents interfering with their lives, man. I have to learn to adapt to that and respect that. It just ain't coy, it's a lot of my daughters. It's hard for guys like me to have daughters and try to figure it out. Not the easiest thing. You think we should give R. Kelly a second chance? But he deserves a second chance. Benzino is skilled at igniting debate. It's a career for the former editor of The Source magazine. If it weren't for his well-publicized feud with Eminem in the 2000s, very few people would have known he was a rapper. Sadly, Benzino's penchant for making audacious claims has come back to haunt him. He recently stated that R. Kelly should be given a second chance in spite of his horrible crimes on the We in Miami podcast. For Koi Larry, Benzino's daughter, this was the last straw, and she openly criticized their relationship. Larry responded to Benzino's remarks on May 1st by creating an X thread. Although she did not specifically identify R. Kelly, it was clear that she disagreed with her father. I want everybody to know I want nothing to do with anything my father has going on, she wrote. I haven't spoken to him in over a year and I don't condone or respect any of them interviews he got going on. The rapper went on to explain that she does even want to be associated with Benzino in the future. I don't respect his decisions, she added. I want nothing to do with him please don't even think of me when you see him. Koi Larry doubled down on her feelings towards her father in a second tweet. Sharing the same DNA and blood doesn't make us family, she noted. Loyalty, boundaries, respect, teaching, guidance, love, patience, encouragement makes us family keep me away from people who try to get their lick back please. The rapper then told followers that she looks forward to having a child of her own so that she could put what she's learned into practice. I can't wait to have a kid one day, she concluded. I can't wait to look her, him in the eye and tell them how much I love them. When you see the circumstances of Diddy messing with his baby mother. The outrageous assertion that Benzino could defeat 50 Cent in a boxing bout has been made. After Joe Budden reportedly withdrew from their boxing battle, it appears like Benzino may be searching for a new opponent, and he may have 50 Cent in his sights. They don't, but you're gonna be a little salty. To me, he's a little salty. The source icon spoke on Fifth's continuing fight with Diddy during a recent episode of the We in Miami podcast, saying he wasn't surprised by it. He claims that there would undoubtedly be strong emotions as Diddy is said to have been having affairs with 50 Cent's child's mother. But you know 50 a big dude though man, you think you could take 50? The question of whether or not Benzino would ever consider facing 50 Cent in the ring was then posed to him. Being big don't, being necessarily big don't mean nothing in boxing. Like, claiming that in boxing, size isn't really a factor. 50's been shot in his face before, right? Counts. He had to get reconstructive surgery, he's not gonna be able to take any old punch in his face. He added, if we were to box in a boxing match and I were to train for a couple months, hell yeah I could box 50. I'm gonna pick me every time. Somebody wanna fight me? Yeah. <laughs> In response to Stevie J's latest request to spar with him, 50 Cent posted a video on social media. <laughs> he boasts in the video that he is still sharp in combat and makes light of the fact that Stevie would probably have trouble getting past security. Many users picked 50 in the possible showdown. If people did their research on 50 he actually a golden gloves boxer, one user wrote. Another added, y'all mad at 50 for what? A boss doesn't gotta fight when he has his people he came a long way. I hope you get back to <laughs> Many celebs have been discussing Diddy on the internet this week. That's because the feds raided two of his properties at the beginning of this week. They disclosed that the raids were related to claims of sex trafficking. That was only a few weeks after the rap mogul was accused of having sex with other male singers and celebrities, such as Stevie J, in a lawsuit brought by Lil Rod. That one element turned into one of the Diddy Saga's most talked about details overall. Although many people have been rushing to express their opinions lately, 50 Cent has been discussing Diddy almost non-stop for months. 50 has been speaking since Cassie's initial lawsuit from the previous year, which broke the chain of allegations against the rap mogul. He was attempting to come up with fresh ways to take shots at Diddy, posting on Instagram almost every day. That has, predictably, never really slowed down and has accelerated dramatically in recent days. However, he might have gone too far with one specific post that infuriated Stevie J. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? and even provoked a threat in return. Stevie J responded with a clap after noticing that 50 had included him in accusations of grooming. She would gang them, or is it that you're sucking little rod dick? He confronted the rapper head on in a video that he posted. Without hesitation, he declares that he wants to face him in a live, broadcast fight. I want you to fade, nigga. 
fuck all that. Stevie says that in light of the rapper's most recent accusations, he wants to shoot the fade with him. Let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Then, he makes it quite evident that he has the confidence to not only initiate, but also prevail in the fight. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you wanna do, Curtis? After his son's mother accused him of raping her in public, 50 Cent is going to war with her. He claims Daphne Joy's accusations are baseless and are solely meant as payback for him requesting full custody. One of the claims filed against Diddy has a direct connection to the ongoing drama involving Daphne, the mother of 12-year-old Sire, and 50. As we previously reported, 50 Cent was promptly alerted to Rodney Jones' latest addition to the lawsuit, which asserted Daphne was a sex worker for the bad boy entrepreneur. After 50 reacted on Instagram by posting, I didn't know you was a sex worker, you little sex worker. LOL Daphne lit him up with a post of her own, saying let's put the real focus on your true evil actions of raping me and physically abusing me. Now, 50 claims the disturbing allegations in the sworn pleadings recently filed in a court case related to Daphne Joy the mother of my 12-year-old child, has required me to take all necessary legal actions to protect my son sire. He continues, the most recent false and baseless accusations by Daphne Joy are clearly in response to my decision to seek sole custody of my son. My son sire is my main priority and keeping him in a safe environment is my only focus at this time. Naturally, 50 has been cruelly making fun of Diddy ever since Cassie brought a lawsuit against her former partner, and he hasn't stopped this week following the government raids on Diddy's residences. Although it's unclear what Diddy and Daphne's current relationship status is, they have previously been romantically linked, which doesn't seem to sit well with 50. He pursued her once more on Thursday afternoon, tweeting a picture of her with Diddy along with a remark that accused her of receiving money from Diddy, and reiterated the accusation that she is a little sex worker. For the record, Daphne has said, the claim that I am a sex worker is 100% false and character assassination. I am retaining an attorney to explore all legal remedies against both Rodney and his attorney. There is now a potential child custody dispute, therefore her attorney will probably be going up against 50 cents attorneys as well. Keep checking back for the most recent Diddy news and updates. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.